Hello everyone, my name is Barbara, I'm the Polish girl who lives in Ireland and Max Knit and this is episode 66. This is a podcast about knitting, yarn related stuff, a bit of my, a few days off or what I did during that time and so on and so on at the end of the video. Although I will have some shop information and news so definitely check that section too. All the links down below, I'll try to do a timestamp, I'll try to link everything down there. Uh, you can find links to social media where you can find me and so on and so on. So without further ado, let's start. Wrap it up. Thank you so much for checking me out and clicking and we haven't seen each other for a quite a while so if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to see bits and bobs things here and there uh, do because I have a few finished objects here and there vlogs here and there and maybe you find something that you like definitely check playlist and you will have that categorized by hats shawls toys garments so on and so on so feel free to do that anyway Okay, so let's start. First things first, what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a hat, sweater, and you may spot a shawl over here. So anyway, let's start with a hat. Hat is my one. I love hats. If you are here for the first time, just to let you know, and just to let you know that I love hats. So if you're looking for a nice pattern or are, you are wondering what to knit and you will, and you are interested to check it out, what I have knitted, go to playlist and click hats. Maybe I put the link down below too. Oh, we shall see. Probably not. Anyway, so this one is my own design and it's called River Flows. I like to walk and last year I was walking quite a lot comparing to this one. I'm not sure how it's the statistic will show, but um, I have a route that I walk along the river, maybe not completely long, but I see it for a, a few glimpses of seconds. And I figure out that uh, I'm going to try to recreate the, the uh, recreate our river over here. So uh, this is it, and I love it so much. Check it out, link down below. And this is our Real sweater by Jennifer Stainegas, and I love it so much. I knitted it with Irish wool. And uh, by that, I mean that I got it in a shop over here. If you're around Ireland from time to time, you want to visit Ireland, you may find shops that are kind of more, uh, you know, tourist related things. You will see loads of um, souvenirs. But in some section, you could see also iron sweaters, and if you're lucky, from a bit like a little tiny corner, some yarn. And I got that yarn. And if you're more interested, and if you're interested even more when I got this yarn, you definitely go and check my vlogs. And look for the one that the two guys, my husband Sam, is climbing up the mountain while we're uh, zipping a tea in the cafe shop. Slash get some yarn, please. <laughs> So I love it so much. I know if I go there again, I'll do that. I think it was Connemara area. Anyway. Yay! Okay, I, I it's just overwhelmed. It overwhelms me. Okay, I almost forgot. And uh, White Bloom Shawl, this is my pattern, so check it out. There's links to all my patterns over there, so... And just to let you know, thanks to this sweater, I think I like it the most. Um, I love... I love the way it kind of grown on me, let's say that way. Uh, that's why I'm having a project I'm knitting with actually this yarn behind me, uh, which is a uh, rustic wool. Let's call it, this is a wool, this is a rustic wool. Um, yeah, because I want to see is the theory about, you know, wearing and, you know, rubbing and loving the sweater makes it softer and definitely this is the kind of rule and I love it so much. I love this yarn so much. But that's in the section of what's on my needles. Right, let's go to the next one which is a jar and a jar is something that I'm going to continue until the, the end of the year and I'm going to add one more podcaster over here definitely. Oh that's the thing about the jar section. I've been watching a few already and I haven't written it down. But definitely someone who is worthy to watch. Has a very difficult name of the podcast for me. So definitely a person that I would like to add 
is so definitely a person that I would like to add to the jar before pulling winter or October the past so I'll do that now is Caroline from Dunder Knit and the podcast is called On the Screen because okay, oh, too difficult for me sorry <laughs> so yeah so here is a bit of fun. I'm going to pull one podcaster out and that podcaster can uh, go to my shop and check out what's available in my shop and if the podcaster find, and if that podcaster finds something interesting in my shop that I would like to try and they let me know. Uh-huh. So as a thank you for recording, for editing, for everything and because it's going to hurt when I'm editing this one. The fun part is that I have sent some goodies for our last one. Um, so hopefully they're going to get it. And just to let you know, they're getting a little bit something something for uh, their viewers. So check it out. And the podcast that I have in mind is Knitting at, Tif Knitting at Tiffany's. So I'll leave a link down below. Okay, let's, let's pull one person or two or... Okay. Okie dokie. Who's that? Shall see. I have been gathering. I have been gathering um, podcasts for the last what three years. Hey, sister podcasts, Rachel and Tabby. Do you know them? Do you know them? You probably do. Just to let you know. Okay, so you can see it. Congratulations. So check my shop, Knitting I Love dot com shop uh, that's my little website so you can check what I have over there I have some pouches um, that I really like and I have a new design uh, um, for uh, the winter so what I'm going to do I'm going to I'm tr I'll try to tag uh, Rachel and Tabby to maybe watch this video hopefully they will so please let them know uh, that uh, they won and congratulations ladies I hope you're going to get in touch with me uh, everyone has a month to get back and I really really hope that you will okay I'll try to do it fast so what's off I'm going through the videos that I actually posted uh, from the last episode you could see some finished object videos, some boxing, some vlogs. So let's go through them quickly. So what you have seen after watching my episode, you could have spot a video about a necklace. I knitted a necklace <laughs> from a book that I received as a gift. And there are so many amazing stuff that I'm just... I think the next one I would knit would be... Um, shawl probably but I wanted to do knit bags and uh, that kind of inspired me to um, design a bag but for completely different purposes I'll show you that in the what's off my needles because it's actually off my needles I have a few things off my needles but I haven't posted videos yet so anyway I'm amulet it took literally maybe an hour not really and I used an old necklace and it's so cool don't you think the next one that i finished socks with drops fable 911 uh which is you know a yarn that i got ages ago now i would say it's a deep stash i could say now it's a deep stash and i still have some um drops fable yarn which i want to use i use them for like gifts for myself too and although i'm getting I'm getting other year now too. I'm trying to mix things up. Uh, but um, yeah, I still have a bit. I think one of this, these are just drops fable. <laughs> um, you said that you really like this colorway and I love it too. And you know, who wouldn't like pink? <laughs> and then we had another finished object and it was a Central Park hat by Nina Philip. That's not the first pattern. That's not the first Nina's design that I've knitted. I've knitted few, and by few I think I'm, I've am i knitted my first ever shawl. So if you check playlist, you will see uh, this. Uh, this is the shawl that I gifted to my mom. That was my first ever shawl and I gifted, oh, and I given it away. That's the way you say it. Uh, anyway, my mom likes it. I hope she's fine with it. Anyway, go back to the, to the hat that I knitted. Anything else that I want to add in regards to what I have said in that video, so you can check it out. Um, I don't remember. 
It was ages ago. It says over here that I posted three weeks ago. I don't really remember. I really enjoyed knitting it. It was so much fun. I know I did double brim and I know that I did it in kind of my way, cheeky way of casting on. And so it wasn't written down that that you could do it that way. But I mean, that gives you an extra sheet and she gives you, I think, at least three other things that you can do. Uh, but I, I'm quite happy with the thing I do. And uh, at the end of the day, with a folded brim, no one is going to look inside in case you mess it up. Um, just to kind of keep an order. Um, and if it is like, you know, ribbing, it's not an issue because you will see reversible, reverse knit stitches on the wrong side. So you kind of have an idea where, which thread you should lift up. At least, you know, you can go with that. I kind of go with that. Normally I see um, a pearl bump in the wrong side. And I try to figure out, okay, I'm taking two stitches before that per bomb and try to maintain the same pattern uh, with lifting it up. Um, for instance, if it's like knit one, two, purl. Knit one, if it's knit one, purl one. And with this, I don't remember what it was, but it's quite similar concept anyway. Uh, the next one was a vlog. We went for a trip. Well, we went for a trip. We went for a walk. And we decided to go to the park and the park is in County Galway and it was a funny funny not funny but um, normally whenever we go I don't really know where we're going and we're we, at that place kind of not really pay attention what county it is anything like that so <laughs> when I come back I edit and I try to find the place and I accidentally wrote down that it was a completely different county. But for your information, it's County Galway. Just in case you want to go there, check it out. Really nice place. You can walk. The museum is for free. It's kind of an old house because it was obviously used to that area, that park was owned by uh, people. And those people had a house and you could see how they lived. And uh, so on, so on. So really nice. Then we have another finished object that was also three weeks ago. It was color work hat and I call it swap number two because in the reverie uh, group knitting I love links down below you find it in the cal section um, we have something like um, mini swap. I call it love hate licorice a hashtag anyway uh, but a swap and uh, the idea is to gather meanings not Gather minis not more than 60 grams and include three by three tea bags in it. So the whole thing shouldn't weigh more than 100 grams overall. And I received um, a beautiful minis from Lily from Nordic Stitches and I decided I'm going to knit out with it with a kind of an idea of a color work. So I did that. That's not a pattern. I did not follow a pattern and I'm not going to <laughs> write down this pattern. It was something, something for fun. Okay, that's not all. I'm a hat addict, truly. The next photo is this one. It's another hat, and this time it's Priscilla hat. Uh, by Marsha Ibuki. I'm laughing because this is a Canadian designer, and normally hat in Canada is called on the screen now because my friend from Canada says that I'm saying that word like if I were doing something illegal. <laughs> A uh, beautiful, beautiful hat, a uh, beautiful, beautiful pattern. I love it so much. It, it takes literally like you could, if you had a day, you could knit in a day. If you don't have a full day for yourself, you can knit it in like two or three days. Really chilling, really, really nice, really nice pattern. A uh, well written. Um, so check it out, <laughs> definitely. And they're all, the links to the patterns are under each finished object video, if you're interested, so check it out. Um, and then we have unboxing. I got loads of yarn from Knit Crate. And the new thing uh, is they were giving, and I think for that, that month, they were giving a magazine and all the patterns from all the boxes uh, were in it. I'm not saying it's going to be continued. I presume it won't because that was the kind of hiccup from pers from perspective of a knit crate because they haven't thought that the magazine is going to be so heavy. And that's instead of putting everything in nice boxes, they put it in envelopes. 
I know everyone loves boxes. I think I'm going to disappoint over here. I do not mind envelopes. Um, so I received a beautiful, beautiful yarn. Um, I got a DK olive color. I got beautiful purple and and I got 100% um, non-superwash wool, I think it was, and I knitted a hat with it, which, by the way, is now on the screen because it took me like two days to knit it. You probably could do it in one day too, because it's a DK weight and it's so, so nice. Diamond Lace Hat by Lana, by Lana, that's how, uh, by Lana, and um, I actually love uh, this yarn so much that I use it in different projects too, but you're going to have a sneak peek in a sec, but Diamond Lace Hat definitely, if you can knit it, just go for it, I love it so much. Uh, what I'm going to do with all those hats, I'm not sure, at the moment I'm putting everything in the box and some people may get some stuff. Okay, and then we have vlog it again. It's unusual. That was two weeks ago. Uh, we went for a kind of cycle slash skike slash my electric scooter thingy. Um, in Ireland, you may find a few places that um, uh, places which were converted from an old railway track to like a walking cycling path. And it's quite cool because, let's face it, it's off-road. And off-road means that no other cars are there. So it's quite safe. If you have family and kids and you want to take them cycling, I would truly recommend to find one of those old railway tracks. Uh, and we went to one uh, of those and we really enjoyed it. I could check that my electric scooter was able to survive, I think, 24 kilometers. I think that's all. And then we have another vlog. Another vlog is quite interesting. It's more in regards to yarn because Grace from uh, Bubbles Traveling Yarns podcast, uh, she hosts, I think that's a good word, um, a yarn retreat in Ireland and uh, she organized it on Friday and Saturday and I missed it. I came on Sunday and luckily I think just this year uh, Grace extended it because she thought like two days it's just a rush and that Sunday will be just chilling and relaxing which was actually true <laughs> obviously Grace went hi obviously Grace uh, went hiking and uh, around three or four uh, seven I visited so if you want to see uh, us both you can definitely check Grace's channel because she did a bit uh, she did a short vlog and uh, yeah we have a chit chat over there so but meanwhile you can watch my one it's very short just four minutes um the fun part was that Seb took me somewhere else and I said to him that's not this <laughs> and anyway but maybe when I'm at this stage I can show you what I got because um Grace said that she had something right she was there but all 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 their vendors left and um, I'll show you two skeins out of three that I got. So, so a bit of yarn uh, break. So we have over here, I got these two, that's fingering graces, and she calls them Marina Sock, both of them, true. And we have Dawn, which I know now means brown in Irish, and D-O-N-N, -N, and it's a 100 75 and it's 75% superwash merino uh, and 25% nylon these and I don't know do you remember but in woolen I think I got this one it's also dawn but it's a little bit darker I got this one for Seb but somehow somehow it doesn't call for Seb and if I now check the screen they work so well together and that's all I got I had some money saved but not for Grace's yarn for amazing bag which I was saving and I would put link down below to the bag that I actually got um, the person who makes them Terry so nice she sent it to me without even telling me that she's sending it to me okay I'm going to show you the bag it is it is my cottage number 
nine, so check it out. This is the bag I got. <laughs> I couldn't pick the most, I couldn't pick the better fabric. Uh, it's so pretty and I love green. My pouch literally, like my green pouch uh, would be quite the same color, quite close. <laughs> But I know what kind of color I'm going to put over here. Um, I haven't put anything yet in planning, but is the most sturdy bag I own. And it's not only that, it's quite a, a brilliant design. We have this, but we also have this. So check it out. I'm dropping these, stretching, and they're not on the way, they're just beautifully presents themselves over here. So I'll show you. Check the fabric. It's so beautiful. It's so well done or well made. Look at that. So pretty. And inside we have one and a second packet, pocket. So far, I said I'm going to display it over here um, because I need to put something into it. So thank you so much, Terry. I'm going to put a link to Terry's shop up there. Uh, definitely check it out. She has amazing now fabrics in regards to Christmas and I think it will be uh, the most amazing gift ever. Spoiler stuff too. I think that's all in regards to the vlog and Bubbles traveling retreat or Bubbles yarn retreat. I think Grace that's the way, isn't it? <sighs> so I decided to chill out for a bit and do something really tiny and I just wanted to to relax a bit and the smallest things that you can make and the smallest things that you may find and feel good about those scraps those one two three six grams of things that they're here there and around and like here <laughs> and just do something with it I found uh, this pattern which is full Harvest Charm Set by Susan B. Anderson and we have four of these and check that video you will see that we have a pumpkin, a leaf, air corn and pine cone and there are hanging in my kitchen <laughs> and look so pretty. Uh, so check them out. I think for pumpkin overall with the stuffing including you need six grams so just go for it. So cute, so sweet. Uh, I may need something like that in the future because it just makes you happy. At least makes me happy. Okay, move on. And the last one on the screen, you can see that I finished socks. And these socks are one of a kind <laughs> because uh, these are two out of four uh, bowls that I got from a D stash from K, from Big Curveyor. So for me, they're quite special. I feel they're having a like cal on my own. <laughs> um, so I'm knitting these and I've knitted already this pair. And now this pair. And I'm going to show you because I started the third one. And I always ask you which next I should knit. And, oh sorry, two out of five. I'm talking about five balls. I still have two. I'm on the third. So I finished them. They're plain vanilla, easy peasy, uh, something chill out and relax. And that's that. And see beautiful colors. And that was opal. And it's so nice to knit with opal. Truly, it is so nice to knit with opal. And that's it. Up till now, you could see, well, you can check it out, is on my channel. Those short little things that you can watch and see. And I think that's all in regards uh, short videos that I have on my channel. So check it out if you haven't done it yet. Maybe you'll find something that you'd be quite interested in. But please remember, it is not a tutorial, but I have a few tutorials to check my playlist. Uh, but it's more like of my kind of knitting journal thing, so feel free to browse. Okay, so quick, what has happened in the last three weeks that would be a yarn related stuff. Maybe it wouldn't be so yarn related, but about knitting related. I haven't been feeling very well lately, so for a bit now. So that's that. So um, I'm not up 
to date with videos in regards to things that I finished. Uh, so um, slowly, hopefully, I'll get there eventually. But during this time, uh, I got things that kind of cheered me up, kind of. They really cheered me up. So the first things first, uh, my friend was doing a de-stash and I got these seven, seven skeins of yarn and um, fingering weight because you know now I need seven, not three to knit a sweater. Uh, and there we go. And what do we have over here? We have 25% super fine alpaca, 55% merino wool, and 20% viscose. In 100 grams, we have 425 meters, which is 465 yards. So check it out. You could see on the screen. And you can see on the screen the name of the yarn and the yarn itself. It is like a chocolate brown. Tweed. Love it so much. Not only that, to cheer myself up, I got myself a pattern, which is called, I got actually a few patterns, but the one that I'm kind of remembering now, it's White Horse by Caitlin Hunter, I would guess. This is on the screen, and it is for a DK yarn. I know this would look lovely in it, I know it's fingering, but if I hold it double, would I... Will I manage with it? I don't think so. And I probably will need to get a yarn so for that pattern. I'm looking for something. If you're de-stashing, thank you so much. I love it. But that's not all. Laura from the Yarn Closet podcast, she spoiled me and sent me cranked. Um, cranked, that's the word, isn't it? On the sock machine. A beautiful, beautiful skein. Look at this. It's just gorgeous. I have already three from her, and this is quite an amazing bit. Do you see what this is? Here is a long bit, and I think I had um, information what it was, but I literally have a pile of things over here, and I know I'm going to use it soon hopefully and that i'm going to once i finish i'm going to do finish object video and let you know more about it i'm so sorry but definitely laura knows what it is hopefully um and you can go and say hi to her she'll be thrilled and ask what color is it what yarn is it so i'm keeping it there just to make me smile so thank you thank you so much and i hope that's that <laughs> <laughs> As a thank you for the first parcel, I sent Laura some, uh, well, I can say the hats, and she recorded a video when they were opening it, and they're the cutest. Laura has two adorable kids, and they're just uh, the best. Uh, okay, but that's not all. Someone surprised me, and by someone, I mean Vicky, uh, but it wasn't completely, uh, again, like Laura. Um, no one informed me about it. I don't have a clue what it is, but at the end of the day, it's a huge thing. Uh, not worthy. I'm just saying, I'm not worthy. So, um, do not open until December 1st and cut here. So, um, so, 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 so. So, this is what I'm going to do and hopefully... Um, I'll see if I can do a bit of an unboxing of, of this. I'll ask Vicky. So thank you so much, Vicky. You spoiled me rotten. Truly no need for that. Like, no need for that. Thank you. <sighs> What's off my chest? Something new what we did uh, lately is, you know, I'm not really so great with fruit preparation and stuff like that. Um, so we did like a food subscribe subscription. I don't know if you heard that. If you know more stuff about that, let me know what you think about things like that. So let's talk about food for a sec, because obviously food, knitting, nice cake. Anyway, so the story is like that, that um, I'm not, um, if I want to think about something, I would think about knitting. So I would not think so much or plan the food or stuff like that. And uh, so Seb uh, take cares of that, but we 
figure I would be really cool if uh, there was something like a subscription for like um, recipes and stuff. And we found out one. I'm not going to tell you that one because it's in Polish, but probably maybe you could find if you're here something like this. If it hit Poland, it's definitely at your place too. So what I'm talking about, you subscribe to a monthly subscription uh, as someone is writing down um, a meals and you can set up how many meals you want to eat during the day. And by meals, you know, it could be lunch, could be brunch, could be like small breakfast and so on and so on. Uh, and what the most fun of it is that um, they write it for a week. You can have a glimpse, you can switch things that you don't really like to eat. Obviously there is at the beginning you can specify things that you don't want to eat at all. Um, but meanwhile you can also change that, at least we can do that. And what they do, they sum up what you need to get uh, in the grocery shop and they give you a list. Well. It all is done on the website, on account and everything else. I thought it's such such a cool thing and we thought that we're going to eat loads of different things but so far we're like out of five stars we're giving two. There's still a few things that, you know, yeah, at the moment we just feel that for the last three weeks we were eating the same product all the time. Just saying. So I'm not saying anything. But I thought it's a cool idea for those people who don't have idea or what they would want to eat. So someone else is planning it for them. It's not that expensive. Um, and I think it's worth to try. I'm saying that this could be for someone to lose weight. For our, one, for our goal was, um, even though that's the main thing, to lose weight, we took it only to try different things, you know, to, to force ourselves to prepare different meals because people can be just focused on one thing all the time and we're losing on so many aspects. And I'm not a person to buy like, you know, recipes books and, you know, browse through it. I prefer to browse through patterns than food recipes. Okay, just so you know, just so you know. <laughs> What also off? I was in Poland with Sepp for a few days and maybe I'll show you quickly something over here too. Um, we don't go very often lately but anyway, you know, we have full-time job, we have certain days. So if you're interested how many days um, off you have in Ireland, well in my situation I have only 20. In Poland people have 26. That's what I've heard. So if I have any poultry people over there, let me know how many days during the year you have off as an annual leave. Not as your holidays, like, you know, bank holiday or some holiday, like in Poland you have Independence Day, people don't go to work and so on and so on. Um, I'm just saying, how many? If you have more than me, I hope I cheered you up. <laughs> so anyway, what I did, I got some souvenirs and I couldn't go to any yarn shops and stuff like that. I wouldn't even know in there's any in Warsaw, if you know, let me know. I was visiting Warsaw with just like family, just for chit chat, just for a few bits in there. Um, I thought we we're going to relax, but our family had other plans. I'm going to do a quick vlog about it because we went to museum, uh, we went to see a palace uh, that Poland used to have kings, so we have a quite nice palace with the gardens and there were lights and so on, and then we went somewhere else and then we went to a concert even so few things a few things but anyway when I thought I'm going to Poland I'm going to get some more books I haven't actually researched them so much I just basically was able to go on the website and buy them which was quite unusual because I think two years ago or a year ago I couldn't do that I had to be physically in Poland to pay for them uh, because there was no, there's no international shipping or anything like that but the first book I got was this one just letting you know um, my English is not as perfect as you may think if you're a native speaker you may hear few bits in there. So I'm trying to work on it. This is the first book of, uh, first part of the book, book. Two part book. Completely wrong, isn't it? But anyway, I'm still working on the first one. <laughs> I'm here and it's quite funny. <laughs> So fun thing about this book is, I would say this is a book for adults or teenagers to learn English because some sentences of here are a little bit too fun to be at school, <laughs> let's say that way. But because of that, I discovered um, a 
publisher who publish books and uh, any book you get uh, it uh, you're you're kind of donating uh, one meal to a child just to let you know I never I, I haven't heard that there is uh, there I haven't heard there are any uh, orphanages in Ireland but in Poland there we have orphanages so I believe um, you know it goes to the kids it so goes to the poor kids, you know. Such a good idea uh, to buy a book and support someone. So I thought that this year I'll get some. <laughs> I know they're all in Polish, but I'll show you the one that I started reading. It's this one. This is a book about how to clean your house, how to organize your house and so on and so on because I have loads of plaques in that. I would definitely do like a clean along with me thing. Are you with me? <laughs> Probably will fail but any any good things? Any any Anyway, so that's that. She that lady has a YouTube channel so maybe I'll link down below if you Polish because that's the language she's going to speak. Next one, the person who actually, um, I think is an owner of the, is a publisher, is this gentleman, so I thought, why not, this gentleman, so I thought, why not to try and see what he has. The first book is about your brain and how to learn things, and um, yeah, what way we actually supposed to be learning and how our brain works to uh, learn, for instance, a language, a foreign language in uh, six months. That's what he did. Um, and this one I thought, okay, he has a second one, let's take this one too. Um, and I don't have a clue about what it is, but it says on the cover that it is about things that we think are about myths. So basically about things that we were told or we were, we were taught that they're right. So we shall see. He has 58 of them here. Now, the next one, because I have to work on my um, talking skills. Is that even a proper sentence? Yeah. So I'm going to see if uh, this gentleman is going to help me. Uh, it is in Polish, but you know why? You know, we're translating here and there. So let's face it. Um, this, I haven't read it, but it's about... It's about expressing yourself verbally. So I hope I'm saying it right. And the last but not least is this one. And this book is a little one, but it's about games that you can play. Uh, I know, you'll probably know now. <laughs> Unusual, have you thought about that? It's 97 games you have over here and there are games that you can play in the car if you're in a long trip. So it's perfect, for instance, if you're driving to any yarn, festivals and shows. Um, so when you're occupied in the sitting position and you're not allowed to leave, I presume. But there's more of it, some interactions and, and there are games, uh, so there are games, for instance, for like a car, a train that you can do, the games that you can play during the party, um, the games that uh, involves uh, a little bit of a thinking the games that involve a little bit uh, more of thinking, the games that you need to move, so use your body, and that's that. So, you know, well, you know, you know, you know, I finished PE, yeah? Physical dedication, so that's a little bit for me. And each book gives a meal to a child. If you know any similar books in English, please let me know down below. I kind of like more of a, that kind of books. Just saying. I've never shared any books before with you, so I think I haven't. Unless there was like a, you know, pattern book or magazine and stuff. So, how do you like them? Interested? Have you read anything similar? So now, let's go what's on my needles. Well, I have one more thing that it's off. Well, a few, three actually. So, it's almost done, 
but I knitted these. I knitted four hats, just knit hat. It's a free pattern and it's a free tutorial on this channel, so um, check it out on the screen now. Link down below. So I knitted these and I use drops and this. They recommend to use nine millimeter needles and I used seven to it. And I think I cast it on 60 stitches or 55. I think I knitted, cast on 55 and here, okay, I haven't blocked these. As you can see, I still have ends. So here is an orange one. Laura, you have a similar one. We're similar, it's exactly the same pattern. Then we have a blue one. So even though it's big, bigger, five stitches, it's fine. I would say it's fine. So I'm thinking to use these as a gift knitting for Christmas. What do you think? So as I said, I think I'm going to use them as a um, as a gift knit and uh, what I did over here as I said I used drops and this they're kind of thick yarn and as thick as this so this is the one this is the one so you can see it so you can see how thick it is and I used a seven millimeter needles and I you and I knitted these four hats in one day during one sitting. So I'm going to record this object video soon about these. Um, it's a little waiting for me. Okay, there's two more things that I finished. But first, I need to eat something. <laughs> Next thing I finished, and it's actually being test knitted, and actually is two things in one, is something new. Something fun, chimney hat. Ta -da! How do you like it? Ooh. So cute. It's blocked and and fun. And as I said, it's not only one. Ta -da! We have a chimney over here. Ooh. And my new tags in the shop. 2018. What do we have over here? As I mentioned, during the Bubbles yarn retreat, I got also this yarn. I was using Amazing Bag by Handmade Bags by, by, by Handmade Bags by Diane, and I should have. I love the system with the pockets. There are two pockets over here. And one pocket, I have information about yarn. So we have Graces. It is 75% 75, 75 New Zealand virgin wool, 25% nylon. It's called Blood Moon and has delicious DK. So I'll show you quickly. Here it is. Don't you think it's such a Christmassy thing? So, so nice. Grace, amazing job. I just, I just love this yarn, this skein. I just got it. Oh, maybe I'll make make a hat, but it wasn't something that I will be making. We we're actually chatting more about those two skeins that I was like, oh, really nice color work. I could do something with it. Um, and yeah, somehow I'm ending up knitting this one. <laughs> Sorry, Grace. <laughs> so, and I was mixing it with the knit grade yarn. I had some um, leftovers from that diamond lace hat that I showed you before. And this is Yarn Fairy and the Pixies Elf Merino 100% Extra Fine um, Non Superwash Yarn Merino. And I think the color is brush, Brushed Steel. So, as you can see, I still have leftovers. It's a DK hat and it is. A DK cowl as a matching thing. I know some people say that I should use these and do mittens, so we shall see how it goes. The pattern will include two of them. Two. So we have two in a price of one. Obviously, I'm going to post something extra like a 20% off 
the pattern on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, go and check it out. Um, this is not a color work, it's a slip stitch method. Um, and I love it so much. It took me a while to figure out what to do, what technique to use to have an equal folded um, brims. I love folded brims so much. Needles I used. I used four millimeters and they're here and I kind of stick to it. So, but if you like, you can change the size if you want to. I don't think there is a need for that. So if you don't have that many tools, I think that's enough. Ta -da! And I'm getting 20 stitches in stockinette stitch. So it's like a proper decay. Wow, and uh, that's blue. So this is waiting for finished object video and I'm thinking of knitting mittens. Another finished object. Here in this beautiful bag, which I got as a gift, um, I have something something. I have the really, really deep, deep, deep stash. I found a ball. Not sure what that is or was or is. Uh, so I have stitch markers, I use 40 millimeters needles over here, and if you see blue, oh, it's my new pouch. If you see blue, this is a Knit Pro, and it's 80 centimeters cold, so it's 32 inches, because I thought it will match beautifully with my new pouch. You can find it in the shop, and this is winter, winter. So um, that's that. And what did I do over here? I definitely had some leftovers. I don't know where I put them. Baskets? Bags? How would you call it? So here they are and I wanted to make something for my tags. I sometimes like to sneak in some extras into orders and uh, I wanted to something that I can actually grab and pull out off random. So whatever I tags I want to put it in, I'll be just doing this. <laughs> right, so um, so yeah, so what I have, I have Ikea's um, bars and I have those um, cups, white things, and I have hooks and on one of the hooks I can definitely put these or even lower that uh, to have. I don't know, have you seen anything like it? I didn't follow any pattern, I just... Um, played with techniques I knew and my friends actually saying that I should be writing one. <laughs> have you seen anything like it? I haven't actually checked properly. Is there any any anything that will look like this? So it's waiting for a finished object and then I'll be able to use it. Oh yeah, needles from the the prosing. And I think that's all. That's what I finished. Okay, let's go what's on my needles. What's on my needles? Before I design a chimney, and it was completely out of, I wasn't even thinking about it too much, to be honest. It kind of happened. Uh, I had a hat that I wanted to test knit, but I skipped it. Gray Siri iron is so beautiful. So I showed you ages ago that I did this one. I don't have finished object because obviously I will make a finished object when I publish pattern. So this is a fingering, it smells amazing, a fingering weight yarn. And so I finished it. And that's from the Knit Create yarn from the previous month. And I decided to kind of Tested my own pattern. <laughs> no worries, I'm going to send it to test knitters, but I just got amazing yarn and I was thinking what pattern I love now the most. And this is the one. Um, so, in this bag, we have something on the go. Here it is. I know it's a lot, I just love it so much. Um, and the yarn that I'm using over here is by Kay from Baker Bears and um, when she was doing D-Stash she snicked in two skeins and uh, I knew that I'm going to knit a hat with it but I knew that I need to find at least 10 grams I think or you know 
15 grams of yarn that will match to these skeins and I kind of dropped my dream and I didn't really pursue to find something um, and a lovely viewer Sarah she sent it me one and I'm thinking now I'm not sure which one <laughs> I think the middle one is it uh, but literally this is they all are from Baker Bears from K so it's so special for me so thank you thank you so much I cried <laughs> So that's why I have so much. As I said, it's fingering weight yarn. I'm knitting these on three millimeters because that's what I like the most. Um, so here, how I look wearing uh, this one. We have a we have a shadow effect over here, so probably you seem quite nice. And I know, but it's on my pouch, so I can definitely put this one in. Sorry. So what do you think? It looks so cool with this pouch. <laughs> Something stuck into my head. So I'm almost there. I'll be doing the creases now, actually. I'm ready for the creases. I'm going as far as 8.5 inches. Um, so it will be more slouchy effect, I would say. Um, but I love it, love it so much, and I'm using my new pouch. It's not new because this one is flower power, but they have rulers in the back. And hopefully in the future, I'm going to have actually uh, written down information like flower power, finger crossed. Uh, some of my pouches have now the new ones, and I just was thinking that I should be putting that on these two. Now I think it's going to be quite a cool tool centimeters and inches so thank you so much ladies I'm going to have an amazing hat probably I'm going to keep this one and this is going to be a gift knit you probably wanted to know more okay I'm going to come closer and show you this yarn it is so this is the way it is so beautiful and this it has Stellina so it's per it has Stellina so this is my first ever a hat knitted in Selena. I think I'm right. Um, so it's like triple special. Um, so can't wait to finish this one and actually I'm ready to properly, properly, properly write the pattern and whoever wants to test it, get in touch with me on Instagram because we're having a secret group over there and we're testing it uh, there all together. <laughs> Well, almost done mine. What else is new? I have two sweaters and two pair of socks. So let's go with the socks and sweaters leave at the end. Shall we? So let's start with the one that I started before everything. Well, not everything, but um, this bag I got from a friend. She doesn't sell bags, <laughs> but it's double special. And what I have over here, as I mentioned, I have drops fable and I'm going through it and this one is drops fable and I actually tell you that I really like this color and it's 604 um, it's nice blue as you can see and this is what I'm getting here is a pouch so it is a gift knit and I'm, and this pouch is called Christmas pouch um, so normally before all the new pouches I had I just used this one if I was knitting a gift knits but I will have more um, so what I'm doing over here I'm doing actual pattern this pattern is free and it's called flying north uh, by Maria she has a podcast and uh, stitching in Sweden I think that's how it called and so you can check it out what do you what do you say about the color I really like it and um, so what to say about Drops Fable? It's quite a cheap yarn. It's 75% wool, 35%. It's 75% wool, 25% polyamide or polyamide. And um, like I said, 600 
four colorways. You could have spotted that I used something different. It's over here uh, for toes. And this is not, um, this is not, this is not a drops fable. This is actually yarn that I got in Lidl, I think. And sometimes you could see something like Rolando. Do you see this? And hear what it says. When I saw it, I thought, I'm going to get it. Why not? So we have over here 75, 25. It doesn't say on this one, but I had like a thick one. I actually have another set. Um, and I knit it. I knitted socks with these. So maybe on the screen, I'm going to show you. If you're looking for hats, socks and everything like that, I'll just tell you to go to playlist and find a playlist with the thing that you're looking for. So if it's socks, click on socks and you find the one that I have on the screen or just type it up and it should show up. Um, so yeah, I didn't, I'm not doing plain vanilla with these. I thought I would start playing with some patterns and this one kind of popped into my, um, it popped on my monitor <laughs> when I was browsing through and I thought I really, really like it. And I really, really like the designer, so yeah. <clears throat> Not finish on the go. Hopefully, I finish soon. But uh, like I said, I treat socks as kind of relax knitting thing. I don't like to think too much when I'm knitting socks. Handmade bags by Diane. Hello, Diane. Uh, so here I have socks. <laughs> oh, and here I have the third out of five uh, balls that I got from K <laughs> and I got a little bit <laughs> uh, I think it's too long but you know we'll do it anyway you know I do afterthought heels and I know some people are not fans of in this King this is King Cole I don't think that I've knitted King Cole before I was trying to do matchy matchy because I like matchy matchy and I thought well I got a spot but I didn't look at this <clears throat> So I thought, oh yeah, I got this red with the bits, but then I got red. It all started with the blue and that was a knit. Then I was knitting, I think here, and the yarn was, had a knot. So I wasn't sure what I'm going with it. But if you want to line them up, oh, we can do it and it will be there. So, 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 so. So, what I could do, I could cut the yarn in the same spot and do a contrast toes on both with a different color. Would you do it? Let me know. But other than that, they work two at a time, so they're equally the same and will look like this. You see it? It's a beautiful skein, actually, and I know um, I'm, I'm going to tell you a number, but it actually has um, a name. So if I find it, I'll put it on the screen right over here what the name of this yarn is. And <clears throat> so this is a King Cole a zigzag. This is what you can see. See it? Do you see it? Now you can see it. Lovely. So you can see over here we have 75% superwash wool and 25% nylon. The color is 3159. So here it is on the screen. You can read it all. <sighs> so some of you put comments under my finish object video about the socks. The opal one, the green ones. I don't know how they call them. Oh yeah, there was some kind of trauma, the symphony or something like this. I haven't translated it, to be honest. Uh, and you wrote down the next ball I should knit was the red one, most of you said, because that way I'll have it ready for Christmas so I could actually wear it on the 1st of December. And I thought, it's a brilliant idea. And I thought to match it with the green. I don't have that much of this green, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the heel and if I'm going to mix with the toes. I think I should do it, shouldn't I? I shouldn't, you know, have it matchy-matchy. Oh, we shall see. Uh, 
it's waist of yarn I would say and here you can notice that I have my needles and these needles are high high as interchangeable that's why it's pink coil and I'm using US size 1 2.25 millimeter needles because that's what I like to get 9 inch gauge sorry 9 stitch gauge over here um, so over here you can see my new pouch for this Christmas I called it under a tree <laughs> So uh, these are for me, present for me. I know I should put it under the tree, but I'm actually going to, maybe I should put it on the tree and wait for them to be used, or I should look how pretty they are when they're the same. Oh, yeah, I probably will be doing this thing here, but then it won't be equal here if I do it here. I'm going to leave it, to be honest, because even if I chopped it, I already un I'm already unribbing, so there's nothing I can do about it. Well, let's face it, they're for me. <laughs> so I think that's all you need to know, and the um, green yarn is Drops Fable, and I don't know the colour number, but I think there have only one green like this, so you definitely find it if you want to edit as a contrast colours. Uh, Let's go to sweaters. Let's go with the one that in the last episode you just seen that much. Check the screen. I showed you that I have that much. It's a fingering weight sweater. A t-shirt or yeah. Well, it says sweater. So it's in here and I almost finished it. Almost. Because here where I'm at. <laughs> I told you, almost a month. <laughs> so this is my kind of design, but am I going to try the pattern or not? We shall see. Uh, I kind of stopped because as you've probably heard that I just plan to have three skeins. So the only leftovers I have is these and I need, I'm on sleeves and I'm just not even reaching my elbow and I'm thinking what way I should finish it. Um, <clears throat> is it good enough to write down a pattern? Is it good enough to write a pattern? I don't know, I'm not sure would I be even tempted to write down a garment pattern um, but at the end of the day we're going to do a finished object video and you will tell me yourself how I look. Uh, first of all, it was really a pleasure to knit with the fingering on three millimeters and some, I know, three millimeters, it's, it's quite, quite a challenge. But I love the fabric and I know, know that I can wear something over it or I can wear just this and I don't have to wear anything underneath. Well, you know, bras and stuff, obviously. But um, it's not see-through. But the only thing that's, as much as I love it here, and in my hands, I find myself being a quite tall person, 5'10", and I, you know, another random fact about me, I was uh, a swimmer, <laughs> competitive swimmer, and I believe I have quite big shoulders. So when I'm wearing white stuff on the top, it's not something that I normally would, because everyone was saying, if you're a swimmer, you're broad over here, so try to narrowed it down. So having something bright up, I know it's not, you know, but I would need your opinion about it. Um, so here I am, over here, you can see, two at a time, that's what I do with things, and here um, it's a reglan type, because I thought that's be the easiest to do. I have a folded um, color, as I normally do for hats, and I have it quite up and I feel it, so it's not, I don't have any stitches on the back. Well, I tried to do some uh, um, short rows, but no, 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 it didn't work. I should have done it somewhere over here and I was playing over here. So this is something, learn, don't do that. Next time I would go where the actual color is. Um, although if you see it, hope you can, it's slightly going down. Uh, but somehow it lifts up for me. Anyway, but I like it. I don't really like two big things over here. <sighs> I have some pattern, some texture going on, which you probably won't be able to see. Oh yeah, you can. Do you see a texture? There's a texture, there's a few bumps over here, and that's basically it. Um, the same thing is on the... Sh uh, 
arms or sleeves and we have plain stocking and stitch um, in the back. So I think overall I'm going to really really like it and I'm not sure have you watched the latest episode of uh, Espastrico, uh, Melissa or Lisa? She was showing a shawl that she knitted with a cream and an orange and she over dyed it and she got a gorgeous blue with a darker, the orange got a little bit dark blue like navy dark and the cream got kind of lighter blue but not completely light it, it, it showed a it, beautiful effect so i was thinking that i could wear it for a while you know maybe i will just get used to it and when i get bored i can actually over dye it and to be honest this is tammy wee colors and just to tell you something about tammy wee colors tammy wee colors um not only offers yarn but also offers um granules for dyeing and I got them, which is I'm not a dyer, uh, but I got them so I could actually not only knit it with the yarn and see a beautiful result, this is actually um, first snow colorway, and then use Tammy Wee Colors granules to over dye it. Um, the owner, amazing owner of Tammy Wee Colors, amazing owner, she is, I think she works in university or something, no. Uh, the owner of the, the owner of Tammy Wee Colors, she has, I think, chemist base, like, lab and stuff. So she figured out the, what to do with a powder uh, that you normally use for dyes, which, you know, you can inhale and stuff like that and change it as a granule. So it's not as dangerous as a powder uh, form like in a powder form. So check her out because I think she still has, she has them in the shop. Uh, so maybe at that, because I put it somewhere and they're just there because... First of all, I wouldn't even have a clue where to get like plain yarn. Where do you get yarn? Like 75, 25. DK, I would dye DK yarn. For us. <laughs> okay, so and that's that. I hope you like it. I'm hoping to finish it before the next episode so um, I can wear it and show you how it looks. And I know now that I need four fingering uh, weight skeins to knit a sweater or jumper or pullover or I call it a t-shirt. <laughs> And I forgot to put something extra. That these were holders for um, sleeves and stuff. But to be honest, I can actually take it and move it to my second bag. And this beautiful bag, and they bags by Diane. These, this fabric is actually fabric that I sent to her. Um, sweat. So what do I have? I use this 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 yarn that I have over here, and I started knitting the sweater. Because I want to test this yarn. I want to test that whole thing that the yarn softens up and stuff. So we shall see. Uh, I think the last time I just showed you and I actually was a top, top nail for the previous episode that I had just a string that I could put around me. And I was afraid that I may not have enough to grab under my armpits. So this is how much I have. This pattern is keys. And I completely forgot who the designer is. So scoop on the screen and on my on my right, so on your left probably, you could see a picture now and uh, and everything. So this is this is my color variations, and I'm using Polish wool for this, uh, which I classified as a DK. And let me know what you think about it. It's a hybrid sweater so I started from here and I was going up then I followed the pattern but I did I I took more I took more it's just if someone stays with a DK for over 100 it's for me it's too much so let's switch so here it is and it is I feel it here I really feel it but as I said before, this yarn was very dirty when I washed it. Uh, so I would say that after washing this, I probably get more lan lanoline. I think that's the, the thing that it's in the wool. And once I wash it and wear it, I hope it's going to behave the same as this one. 
but they're differently spun and I'm hoping to maybe bring a skein to Grace and show it to her because she said during the bubbles retreat she was explaining the way you can spawn the yarn you can have it worsted spawn or and the other option <laughs> so the one is when you just grab the yarn that it's kind of count and you just grab the pieces and do it that way or you can create like a small tube and then when the round bit is just go from there and it's more airy with this yarn you see this this is how it looks um, so it is spun by a human, not a machine. So that's the way, if I go come closer, you may see it's presentable, isn't it? My stitches are not that bad either, but let's analyze it from perspective. Boom, boom. Oh, sorry, that was just a penguin, not that I wanted to flash you. But uh, so what I'm thinking, that's a hybrid also is nice that if you cast on less that you should and I think I should have slightly more so as I said I like half of my thumb that I can grab um, here or even pulls um, so I will need to put these on the needles we shall see how it goes because I was doing um, provisional cast on using a hook and I think that was kind of my first time doing it. <laughs> so I want to, yeah, you see this? It's that much. At this stage, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Should I just go straight and that be okay? Or should I increase? But I believe that I will just go straight. Is that a good answer? <laughs> Can someone tell me? If I just go straight, or I should increase a little bit. Do I want to have it fitted, fitted? <sighs> Not sure, I'm afraid. It's okay when I have it on the top of something, but it's so beautiful. Okay, so the pattern calls for DK and it calls for certain gauge and I wasn't getting the gauge and I decided that I'll have to just go for it. Um, so I think, even though with a different gauge, and I would have to check what kind of gauge I got, I wrote it down, um, but I could, actually I can really measure it myself. Um, I'm quite happy with results, don't you think? I think it's going to be a stunning sweater. And I'm just using two colors, light gray and uh, a coal. And I'm not sure, have you noticed, but there was like, a thing on Instagram in regards I wish grant a yarn a wish a thingy and I took part in it for the first time I didn't know what to do so just basically put the photo and roll down that I can gift 200 grams of this amazing rustic wool and uh, as my wish for whoever wants to and do it is to get leftovers of a DK Indie Dine yarns so I can kind of play with it and make a hat. Um, yeah, so my wish is granted and is going to get to me. I'm doing a swap with another amazing lady because she said she can do a swap. Um, so I'm doing that. And I gifted it also a yarn to uh, a person. So that's that, so I'm happy. Not too much, don't over your work yourself if you can't, uh, it's just to, you know, just to take part. Um, so uh, that's that. In regards, no, I can't even find needles. They're probably in the bag. And needles. So I moved, um, when I was doing the color, I moved it to the 16 inches. And I think this is 4.5. No, that's four millimeters. I think that's all I'm knitting on four millimeters actually. Um, so here they are. I had it on the long cord, but then I changed that. So I just, I use the same tips, but I'm changing cords. Um, just, you know, to have it fun. The other thing that I was using in this bag, I had this bag. This is pen made bags by Diane. I think I found it lately and I think it was one of the gifts that I meant to give to a winner but that winner has never 
got in touch with me. If you are watching me for the first time, from the beginning, not for the first time, uh, you probably could recognize this bag, handmade bag that I am. I thought there, it was really cool idea to put a skein, you see this rustic yarn, into it when I'm doing color work, not to mix yarn inside the, the bag. So put the bag into the bag. And so this is, this is my black color. It's not really black, but well, it's kind of is black. I'm not sure do you think about it, but I'm start thinking about it. And in December, there's something I like to do. I haven't started yet, but I got some supplies. So what you can find on my wall is this. I really like calendars, which it says family because um, even though there's just me and Seb, um, they kind of divide it and you can, you know, put it knitting for instance and write down project that you finished that month or started that month. You can kind of use it for whatever you want. Put birthdays, uh, some events, work and what do you want to do at home. So I really like that. It's kind of multi-purpose planner. So I got this one. Not online, I went to the shop. And the second thing that I got is this. I like to use this. This is, I don't know how to say it, Lochtrum. So here it is for 2018 and this one will be for 2019. Um, I'm still thinking what kind of pouch I'm going to use. I'm definitely going to use one of the tower pouches, these ones, because we have elastic I do this and I treat it as kind of a bullet journal, especially I like the idea in regards to creating calendars. I'm not sure that I'm going to do it, but I'm thinking and would love to find time to do, to even show you at least my template, the way I'm doing it without filling it in. So you'll know ish how this little brain works. Now, okay, that's it because I can't, it's too much, too much, uh, too many things. <laughs> And I'm just covered with stuff. Let's move on to cows. Okay, in the cow section, cows. I'm hosting Knitting Along Cows. What the cow is, if you're watching it for the first time, is that it could be themed, it could be specif specified pattern. Uh, well, I don't have that. Uh, in my uh, cows, we have knit a hat cow, which means you can knit, crochet any hat, and you just enter it there. And we were waiting to reach 1,000 finished objects. 1,000, can you believe it? Like, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a winner. The prices are the pair. So we have this bag, we have keychain for a baby, and that reminds me, a few babies there were born in the last two months. If you're watching other podcasters, you probably know. So this this is so, so cute. So, so cute. Um, but probably in your family, you have some babies or you have your own babies. You can definitely have fun with this. Um, knitting a love pouch with a coaster. Yarn, which is sock packa. I knitted a hat in it. Artisan yarns, and we have blueberry, that's the color. 60% wool, 20% alpaca, 20% nylon. Uh, we have 100 grams, 440 yards. So here it is. And one of my patterns. So I'm not sure who the winner is. I'm going to draw it while I'm editing. So um, I'm going to do it in a sec. But just to let you know, when I'm packing stuff, I'm trying to reach the the threshold of the post. So I may squeeze some stuff, more stuff in here to the winner. And so we're going to draw from 601 to 1000. That's the number of post. And the winner is on the screen now, so I don't have a clue who that is. So congratulations, and I hope you're going to love it. So please get in touch with me on Reverly, write down your um, address, because I have to send it to you, and I'll try to do it as fast as I can. Uh, so yay! So please still post some hats. I love hats, and I love to see what uh, do you knit, what kind of hats you knit. Okay, that's not all. The other cow that I have is called Knitting, Crocheting, Make-Along. 
and in there you can put anything and yes yes if you needed a hat you can put them in one and in an other ha uh, other um cowl too with the hats if you're knitting any of my patterns free or paid for patterns i have some uh, you can post them twice uh, just saying that it's written down anyway there i hope so uh so just to double check we have 390 finished objects and to draw price we're waiting for 500 so come on if you knitted anything go and post um, a finished object photo there okay is that all no that's not all because i received a copy of amazing shawl and you know what now i, sh I think i should have done that before recording but let's go with it now your favorite brew shawl by jennifer sheelan so maybe on the screen up here you can see how beautiful it is and i ask you in what colors you would want to knit it so definitely if i'm getting any pattern uh, from any designers i will definitely straight away put on rapidly and i wrote down that i'm going to draw a winner in my next episode so that was quite a bit so we have a few people over here so i'm going to draw and let's see who the winner is on the screen so congratulations um i'm just wondering what kind of colors did you pick to knit this show i'm going to inform jen so hopefully uh, i'm going to wait maybe a week just to hopefully you're watching this episode and you are surprised that you won so i hope you're happy with it and you can't wait to knit it i hope you have the yarn for that oh that was amazing that was amazing. Is that all? Not really, because I like to give patterns. That's why I also design uh, to have a bit and here to give to people randomly. So uh, randomly, I created a thread on Reverly. All links down below if you want to look for the Knitting I Love group. Cows are there. Um, it's Knitting I Love pattern giveaway. And I think I need to draw someone from for October. We have July, we have August, we have September. So let's draw someone for October. Still don't have a clue whether who that person is. So I'm going to do it now and show it on the screen. So congratulations. I'm going to get in touch with you straight away and just tell you this is your pattern. Go check this episode because you were picked. Obviously for all of these, I'm using random number picker. That's how you call it? I think that's how you call it. Uh, so, yay! I hope you liked it. Um, so, I'm still holding prize for Knitting for Chate Make Along. So, is that all? No, we're moving to uh, the shop section. And you know, this is my last one. I'm already a bit of tired, and a shop is something that I really like because. Um, I know there's some of you are new over here, so just to let you know quickly how at the end of the day, what is my story in regards to pouches? When I started doing podcasting, it wasn't the first thing that I was doing on YouTube channel. At first I was doing finished object videos and it wasn't just for you. It was basically because I thought that only person going to watch is my mom. Um, and because, you know, I'm an expat, so there will be something um, that we will have in common. Um, but when I started doing podcasting, I noticed that people were organizing giveaways or giving things from their fear of heart and uh, I wanted to give something too. And you know yourself, as much as the yarn is expensive, the postage of it kind of hits like double. So I wanted to design something or to have something that it's a light, that you can use it and you can enjoy it and that was my idea to um, create something. And I wanted something to be flat, just to put it into the envelope. That's why anything that you order from my shop, the standard post starts from two euro and 80 cents. Obviously Ireland's cheaper, it's normally 180. <laughs> uh, but overall it's 280. Uh, and uh, yeah, so that's what I like the most. I don't want you to pay loads uh, in the post and and if I send gifts, it's, you don't feel that it's a big, um, what do you call it, challenge, financial financial challenge to, to send stuff. So anyway, I designed the pouches and I've shown you already, so you've seen them. And uh, I worked with a few designs, I'm going to show you what's up there in the shop. So check it out. So here it is to the Christmas pouch we've seen probably this year. It's like skeins. So we have a Christmas pouch. 
and this one doesn't have the ruler or writing, hopefully in the future it will change. Then we have this one, which is under the tree, and it has a ruler and a writing. This one is a different ruler. <laughs> then we have gift knitting, and then we have gift knitting, and we have winter. Winter. These two, this is Silent Forest, and I added ruler, flower power, and we have a ruler. For DPNs in the flower power and in the Silent Forest, this is Silent Forest version, uh, so if you're using DPNs you can also find something in my shop. Um, what else you can find? You can find tags. Maybe I won't be showing you now. Uh, Hopefully in the next episode, maybe I'll prefer tags because I probably, I had to split this video. I need to do it more often. There'll be like 30 minutes then. <laughs> I hope you did not mind, you enjoy, you took your time, you were knitting and having fun. And all the links are down below if you're looking for something. If you can't find, just comment and I will help you for sure. <laughs> I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this one. See you next one. I hope you have some fun knitting going on um, and I think that's it I hope you enjoyed this one see you next one bye don't forget to check the links down below hopefully you find something interesting <laughs>